Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me again, Clack, and welcome to another episode of Miss Billion's Classroom. Today, we're going to discuss how to make self checking quizzes in Google Forms. But before that, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to hit the notification bell. If you want your assessments be checked right away once the student is done answering it, this tutorial might be helpful for you. Today we're going to discuss on how to make self-checking quizzes in Google Forms. The only thing that we need is your Google Classroom and your Google Form. First, let's go to your Google Classroom. Let's go to Classwork, hit Create, Quiz Assignment, type in the title, let's say Demo Class. And then as you can see here, blank quiz, Google Form, you see here, lock mode on Chromebooks. If you are in actual classroom and all your students are using Chromebook, you may want to turn this on so that the students will be focused on their Google Forms and will not open other windows. But if you are in distance learning, you may not want to turn this on because not all your students are using Chromebooks. So you can see in here, Classroom can import grades for assignments. Grade importing automatically limits each form to one response per user, collects email addresses, and restricts responses to users in your domain. For this one, grade importing, you may want to choose or to take this one. Okay, so you may want to click this one, and you will be prompted to the Google form. I already made this one. I changed already the theme because you can change the theme. So you can upload an image. You may want to change the theme color and background color as well as the font style. Okay, so um, you can have here add question, import question. Let's say you have um, old Google form that you may want to get a um, few questions from that. You may import the question. Let's say this one. Okay, let's say respiratory system. Okay, let's say I will click this one, import. There you are. Okay, so as you can see, there is an answer in here already, and there is answer key. So this is the correct answer, and you may want to put the points. Okay, you may also add answer feedback. If you if they got incorrect answers, you may want to um, add link or video that is an explanation of the question, correct answer. You may just want to put congrats or good job. Okay, and then I will go back in here. So let's say our first question is the name. That will be short answer. I will put it required and there will be no points for that. So since that is only a, um, a name. Next, let's say core. We want core one, two, three, and four. Since I have four cores, I will require it. <coughs> you can also duplicate this one if you feel like they have the uh, same format of question. And then let's say I have question number two. Let's say um, what? Where does the oxygen enters in our body? Let's say multiple question. Let's say mouth. Okay. Let's say eyes. Let's say um ear okay you may want to put required so that the student will not miss the question go to your answer key you may want to put points in here and then um take the right answer let's say mouth and then click done okay let's say you are excuse me you are all done so as you can see you will see here the total points and now 
Okay, you are done with this one. You will go back to your Google Classroom, hit Assign. There you are. And then I will show you my um, Google Classroom as a student. Okay, let's say there you are. So this is how it looks like for student. Okay. So we'll type my name. Plan. Let's say I'm from court to mouth. And then let's say I'm not reading. Okay, submit. And then you can see here view score. Right away, the student can see their total points. I got one over two. I got correct in here and I got wrong in here. <coughs> and then you may want to um, go to this one. This is the teacher's um, Google Classroom. You can see here, there's one th who turned in. Okay. You can click here, import grades. Are you sure you want to import grades from that, um, from demo class? Importing grades will overwrite the current grade in classroom import. All right. So you will click this one. And then you may click the pencil to see the response of the student. So you can see here the response. So you will see the summary in here. Uh, email is collected, the name, and there you are. You can also see question and individuals. So there you are, guys. I hope you learned from our tutorial today. Again, don't forget to hit like and subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to hit the notification bell. Thank you. Have a great day.